Now a quick overview of this uh, nylon strop. I mean, it's not really magical, it's sort of a strop, but um, that's what it looks like. It actually holds the, um, the particles higher up, it doesn't allow them to sink in because it's a harder surface, and so as a result, um, it, it causes abrasives to act coarser than they, um, than they do on softer straps, in essence. Um, you can maybe, if I get this at the right angle, you can see light reflecting off because it's sort of an uneven surface. You can um, maybe see that, so it's the tops, sort of a, it's a rough surface and the tops are what are actually contacting the blade and picking up metal and they're sort of um, dips, valleys, what have you, which, um, which aren't. And that's just about how it works. It is nice and clean. There was nothing on it beforehand, so you don't have issues like you can have with um, stropping on some leathers, cardboard, what have you, where um, where where contaminants already existing on it ruin your finish because you started with um, basically grit on your strop. Um, you can see the solvent I used actually. Um, is absorbed into this and so it actually pulled this um, around the edges and onto the backside pulled the abrasive so that's why that appeared um, and it, it was originally no, I wouldn't say it was about the same but this face has darkened with use because it's picked up metal um, and so yeah just an interesting experiment uh, I guess I really wanted to toy with this because I wanted something that would work better with um, with really small diamonds for stropping. So I tested this out and this seems to work so I guess I'll I'll keep playing with it. If people are interested in this, um, let me know. It was sort of one of those technologies for me kind of things. But some people want to play with it too. But yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching guys.